Bonjour, mon frère, friends. Kind of dark in the garage. Not a whole light. Not a whole light. Not a whole lot of lighting in here. Was that a Corvette? <gasps> wow, check it out, bro. The vet. Check it out. It's a nice, nice one here. I wonder who's the owner. Carbon fiber for the rear view mirror. I think this is a 2020 or 2021, I'm not sure. Anyways, Stingray. The only thing I don't like about this car is the, uh, the steering wheel. I don't know if you can see that, maybe it's too dark to see. That's a pet. I think it's a 20, 2019 or a 2020, I'm not sure. That one has the engine, it's mid engine. The engine's in the back of the car. a good enthusiast car I think they moved in not too long ago the owner of that particular vehicle the owner of that particular car moved in maybe two or three weeks ago or so gentlemen and gentle ladies let's start your engines So, I haven't made a video like this for quite some time. It's been a while since I've filmed the inside of me, the inside of my car while I'm driving. I still, I still haven't flown my new airplane, which is the MXS. So it's been, if you live in Montreal, you know that it's fall and that it's quite wintry. It gets quite cold and quite windy. So I may try to fly in the to fly my new MSF MX MXS from from FMS sometime soon. If the weather cooperates, I mean it's already November 5th, so it's not exactly pleasant weather to be outside flying our seaplanes the wind doesn't help I mean it's already a very wintry wind at this present stage at this present juncture so I've flown in the winter before it's just you have to find the right the right day with the right weather it has to be almost no wind and it has to be zero degrees I think next week there's gonna be some days that it's gonna go above above 10 above plus 10 Celsius that is so we'll see about that I was planning on flying the plane today but it's a bit windy today Although there is sunshine and plenty of light, it's still the temperature is not very conducive for me to, to do it. So like I said, it's November already and it's not here in Canada, it's already not very comfortable weather to be outdoors be flying radio control planes especially because when I fly and I hold the radio on the sticks my hands are going to get pretty pretty cold so it's happened to me two years ago where I tried to fly in a very cold day and I don't like flying with gloves on because the feel of the radio of the, of the sticks is not the same so I'd rather fly without gloves so yeah a couple of years I uh, froze my hands <laughs> pretty badly <laughs> it was quite painful <laughs> so 
So unfortunately here in Canada, the winter is brutal. Cold, dark, and very long. So it's quite a pain to endure. There's lots of snow, lots of ice, you know, getting to temperatures down to minus 30, minus 35 with the windshield factor in like January and February. So there's no way around it unless I move to a tropical country. <laughs> Which I don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon, so. What are you waiting for? For it to turn red again? That's off. I don't have the heat on my car yet jacket right now I'm pretty warm I'm beginning to feel pretty hot as is so no need to turn the heat on it's like opening the window even believe it or not so there's nothing new and exciting aside from Trying to maiden the new my new plane. Trying to find the, the perfect weather. I mean it has to be a sunny day. It has to be very little wind to no wind. And not cold or not too cold. And if I need to wear gloves, which I hate for flying our seaplanes, we'll put a very, very, very thin gloves from there so man I am so hot in here what else is new and exciting nothing nothing going on trying to make new videos for YouTube I was thinking of buying a professional camera for YouTube videos but it's expensive. I can't justify the ROI. Well, there will be, there will be no ROI because I make no money from it. So I don't, I don't even break even. It's costing me money to make videos, actually. Believe it or not. But I, I like doing it. It's fun. There's, I guess sort of like an intrinsic value to it, I guess. It's, some people like seeing it, watching my videos, I suppose. Sometimes I try to make it funny. Well, it's red for me, you can cross. <laughs> you can cross the road, no problem. I'll wait. One of my dogs, we had to put her to sleep. We had to put Mal to sleep about three weeks ago. Unfortunately, she reached a ripe old age of almost 15 years. So that was quite depressing because we had her for 15 years almost. My mom was really sad about that and depressed about it. Still is. Her kidneys start to shut down kidneys start to fail, start throwing up, and we try to, you know, mitigate the problem, but um, it was a bit too late, unfortunately. So that's it, I mean, I'm pretty sad about it still. What can you do? They, you know, the animals, dogs, they only last so long. I mean, you're lucky if your dog lives to like 16. I 
I've seen dogs lift up to 22, 23 years old. They don't last too long, so unfortunately, you know, everybody's sad about it. So nothing I can can see or do about that. It's a done deal. We had her, we had her cremated, and um, she's at home right now in a little vase and a little pot, you know. And also we had a a big piece of her fur because she's a Shih Tzu and her fur was almost like human hair. <laughs> if, you, if you've seen, if you know anything about Shih Tzus, you know how long their hair can grow and, and it, uh, it's very similar to human hair. So we kept a lock of her hair as well. So uh, with a ribbon wrapped around it, a pink ribbon wrap, wrapped around it. And uh, that's it. Nothing else to say, nothing else to talk about. I've reached my destination. I'm here at the park. So thank you for watching my video. I will be trying to be making a video of my RC plane once again. I don't know when that's going to be. I wanted to do it today, but it's a bit windy and too cold. Uh, there might be some days coming up that might be warmer than today with less winds. And also, I'd rather do the video in the morning when there's almost nobody at the park, as I fly usually here at the park. As you guys may recognize this place or not, I don't know. So I usually fly my plane, so I'll take it from there. All the batteries are charged. Transmitter, make sure that the batteries are charged for the plane because that battery feeds the motor and the servos and the receiver. So the receiver is dependent on having pa power to receive the signal from your transmitter and the motor needs the power to keep it afloat. And the servo needs the juice, the power to, to move the control surfaces for the you know, elevator, for the rudder, and the airlon. So that's it. Make sure that transmitter batteries are charged, fully charged, and make sure that you have a good range and radio signal. Check everything before you fly, because that thing is a bit bigger than I thought it would be when I bought it. I was quite surprised when I assembled it to see how how big it is and how heavy it's over a kilogram 1.1 kilograms i think or 1.2 kilograms in weight wingspan is about 43 inches wingspan from tip to tip and the length is just under 43 inches it's 42 inches the length from spinner to uh, to rudder so and what else can i talk about the plane explain technically i'm not going to go into detail I give you the size and I give you the weight and it's using a 3S battery with 2200 million pier. 2200 million piers were allow it to fly between five to six minutes, I think. And the 3S is three cells, which is 11.1 .1 volts. It adds up to 11.1 .1 volts and that's what the motor takes. 